it is genuinely probably the the first time in a long time that I have felt safe. It was the money for us to have a home. It was the money to know that like my truck payment's gonna be made, my kids payment, my kids are gonna eat every month. It was just, it was the first time I had felt safe in a really, really long time. I'm now married um, since my last suicide attempt. Somebody came into my life and has been a very, very big pillar of that. And we actually looked on 4th of July um, in Colorado out at her family's uh, uh, cabin up in the mountains, which was really, really cool. It has been a huge blessing. So to be able to go from you know, constantly. I, I don't think there's ever been a point in time where I haven't had two, two or three jobs since I got out of the military. Um, and to finally just be able to to sit back and, and comfortably work and, and it not be a, a point where we have to worry about bill, you know, making paycheck to paycheck was just uh, such an incredible feeling as a, as a man and as a husband. I'm about a year, almost exactly a calendar year out from a, from a major suicide attempt. It was actually my fourth attempt um, because, I mean, just through so many times, there was just so much where you would go through these moments. Um, the time where my, my disability had actually been cut, we were at a point where I really needed the VA's help. Um, I was struggling. I think I was at 70% at that point in time. My, my kid's mother, she was only at like 60 or 70%. We were both disabled veterans. Um, she was definitely sick with a pregnancy and, and I couldn't even hardly work because I was taking care of her so much. And I mean, there was times where we faced starvation then and it, you know, it's still taken me almost a better part of a decade since then to even get the rating. Um, and, and even now to, to go from work in a, a very successful job and be turned on my head, um, it just really kind of highlighted exactly how, how much I hadn't, hadn't kind of been given the same opportunities because of that money not being there. Um, and had, had I went through the VA process um, correctly the first time or, or whenever I got out back in 2000, you know, 2011, I think my life would have been drastically different. And I don't think I would have been put in a position where a lot of times the suicide attempts were kind of the, uh, the last ditch effort. They were the last hope. It was that last little bit that you had to hold on to. And whenever you're facing losing your home or losing a vehicle that you work for or not being able to take your kids on vacation, uh, it gets really, really overwhelming to try to keep working through those things with no hope in sight. It was really awesome. Um, I got to work with another veteran who who finally just kind of listened to my story um, and, and literally just took the time to make it to where I didn't feel like just a number, um, to kind of slow down and let people realize that, that they are listening um, and help tell some of the stuff that whenever we went through the military, and especially for me, it was basically you can re-enlist and re-enlist for a couple of years to med board out at that time, or you, I had just gotten back from Iraq and it was like, I had just gotten married and I wanted to move on with my life. And they were like, you can either ETS out and deal with whatever comes and sign this waiver, or you can, you can re-enlist for almost two years to try to med board out. And I just, at that point, I was so tired and so frustrated that I kind of ran away from that one and then spent the next decade regretting that decision until I found that comp. Once I got over with Michael um, and he helped me get my claim filed um, and, and then just kind of understanding what the next steps were really going to be and then I dove into those courses. So then whenever I went into those exams, um, th this, this last time, especially that 90 to 100 push, those exams, um, I was way better prepared and way, had a better understanding of what, the, what to expect. And I felt way more in control during those meetings, which was way nice. At one point, I had actually been knocked down to 40% um, after I had went through one of my local uh, DAV reps, um, and it was really, really frustrating. So Kate got a hold of me, um, and we started working towards my 90. I got really, really frustrated, um, and we, because of not anything that Vetcom had done anything poorly, but just the uh, the process got really, really overwhelming. So Kate and I actually ended up kind of having a, having an interaction with each other. Um, Recommitted back to the program. Uh, of course, I made the push to 100%, and then Kate offered me to come over and, and work for you guys.